If you're familiar with the particle command, you probably know that if you set the count to zero, whatever you set for these three numbers actually represents the motion of the particle. As you can see when I flick this lever, the particles have a motion going in the positive x, y, and z direction. What's slightly lesser known is that you can actually put in relative and local coordinates as these three numbers. When we run this, it goes all haywire because it's actually using our coordinates as the motion. So it's passing in like 33, 70, negative 18 as the motion value. So obviously it's going to be very, very high. Now for a long time this was considered useless, but there's actually a new technique that gives us complete control over the direction the particle travels. To do this, we just simply use rotational coordinates and we set the third value to 1 million. Then to counteract that, we set the speed to about 1 1 millionth. And you can actually change the speed value to whatever you want, but this is a good general approximation for how fast you want it to be. So now if we make this command face the player, for example, so we'll just do execute positioned one block above and then facing entity at P eyes. Then when we run the command, it shoots particles directly at the player. And let's say we want to make this shoot a little bit harder. We could just change this to a five, for example. Now it's shooting really hard at us. Using this technique, we can actually do cool stuff like this, where the particles actually have motion depending on the motion of other things. Uh, so for example, we take the motion of this arrow and we rotate how the particles display based on that. And as you can see, they're actually moving outward in a circle, which is something that prior to this technique was completely impossible unless you wanted to hard code every single possible rotation. So why does this work? Well, uh, let's envision that this dot right here is the coordinate zero, zero. Now, if we have a player, let's say the player's right here, and we're wanting to shoot a particle this direction. Well, our first thought might just be to go one block in front of the player and say, that's the motion vector. But actually what happens is the motion goes from zero, zero to whatever point you give. So what you're getting is actually motion going that direction. Now let's say we zoom out a little bit. That's not zooming out. There we go. That's zooming out. So if we zoom out a little bit and say, instead of going one block in front of the player, we are going to go one or maybe 10,000 blocks in front of the player over here. Now, that motion vector is actually going this direction. And as you can see, this direction is a lot closer to that direction. So obviously when we go like a million blocks out, the two directions become basically indistinguishable, but there's still a slight problem here. This arrow is very, very big, which means that the particle is going to travel very, very fast, even though it's in the right direction. Luckily, the particle command has a speed modifier, which allows us to basically shrink or grow this arrow as we please. So all we do is multiply it by say 0 0.000001 and everything gets shrunk down to the right speed that we want. So what your final result is, is shooting a particle exactly where you want and exactly the direction that you want. If you enjoyed this video, I have a much bigger particle tutorial plan showing you how to make more complex, cool creations like the ones you see on your screen now. So if that interests you, consider subscribing. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.